I lived in Ventura County, and we had real problems with them. Like, they killed all my chickens. It was like, they were everywhere. Yeah. But also, fucking cool. You know, <laughs> I, it's such a conflicted thing, because I hated yeah. them, because they killed my chickens. And... Um, I but and they also honey potted my dog into killing my chickens. Did I tell you that story? No, you didn't tell me that. Oh boy, listen to this. This is how smart these motherfuckers are. I had this dog, rest in peace. His name is Johnny Cash. He was the best dog. I'll get sad, <sighs> but uh, I'll catch my breath here because I really loved that dog. No, I understand this. I just lost a dog last May. <sighs> Uh, this dog was just, he was just such a sweetheart, but he was a big dog. He was a Mastiff, a Regency Mastiff. His father was actually on Fear Factor, and his father was this, we, we put people in these big bite suits, and they had to run, and we did it with Belgian Malinois, and the problem was for, like, really super athletic guys, like, we had some, like, uh, real high-end athletes on the show uh, occasionally, like, like, like amateur football players. Guys are just stacked and strong as hell. And a Malinois, no matter what, is still only 60, 70 pounds. And so we brought in these Regency Mastiffs because they wanted to figure out a dog that could do bite work but was way stronger. And this dog was like a buck 60 and built like a brick shit house. His dad, my dog's dad, was actually in the movie The Hulk, if you ever saw the movie The Hulk with oh, Eric yeah. Bannon, when they turned the dogs into Hulk dogs, that was actually that, was that actually. dog. <laughs> so my friend Joe, shout out to Joe, who raised these dogs. He raised them for intelligence and temperament, and he wouldn't let any dog breed that had any aggression towards other dogs or any aggression towards people. So they were the best dogs. And so this dog was hanging out with all these other dogs that were doing bite work and everything, and he was just so chill. Just hanging out. I go, how does this dog so chill? And just like, he goes, he's just fucking smart. He's smart. And he's well raised and well trained and loved. So anyway, I had his son. And uh, he was the fucking best. But he was in the yard during the day. Um, and a coyote would come by the fence. And the fence was six feet high, like a wrought iron fence. He couldn't get over this fence. He didn't even try to get over the fence. It was a nice big yard. But the coyotes could get over that fence like it didn't even exist. It was wild to watch. I watched one with a chicken in his mouth jump and put his feet at the top of that fence and over like, and like a off. Cirque du Soleil acrobat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. So we had um, – this large coop where the chickens were that the coyotes couldn't figure out a way to get into. And then have you ever raised chickens before? Uh, my dad raised chickens. There's, they yeah. do a thing called brooding. And what brooding is um, chickens lay an egg, you know, almost every day, but none of them are going to become chicks because there's no rooster. So right. th these are unfertilized eggs, but they don't understand that. So they decide every now and again that this egg is going to become a chick and they won't let anyone near it, and they pluck their feathers out, and they just sit on this egg, and they they stop making eggs. And they get real weirded out. And the only way to cure them of this is to put them in a smaller pen with a post so that they have to hold on to the post to stand. They can't sit and squat like over an egg. So you put a post in there, put a small coop next to the coop. It takes a little a few, I forget how many days it takes, but they get over it, and then you can put them back in with the regular hens. Well, that little coop, this sneaky ass fucking coyote had figured out that he could get my dog to destroy that little coop because my dog was he was huge. And so somehow or another, this coyote became friends with my dog, just kept hanging around. And my dog's like, oh, it's another dog because he has a little dog friend. Like, this is my other little dog friend. Hey, what's up, buddy? What are you doing? He's like, hey, you want to know where the chickens are? And uh, my pool guy fucked up and left one of the gates open into the where the, the chickens usually are. And uh, I was inside the house with my kids and, and my wife, and we were playing some sort of a game. I forget what game it was, but I saw in the background a coyote run across the backyard and hop the fence with the chicken in his mouth. I'm like, motherfuckers, I thought maybe somebody left the coop open or something happened. So I run outside and there's Johnny standing over this destroyed coop that he was so proud that he busted apart. The coyote tricked him into smashing that coop and then the coyote grabbed the chicken and ran off with it. I wish I had known about this story when I was writing. <laughs> How amazing I put is that? It in there. How amazing is that? 
Like, there's no doubt in my mind that that coyote tricked that dog into doing that because that dog had never destroyed that coop. And then afterwards, he realized he's so strong, he can go right through the whole coop. So he tore a hole in the mesh, the chicken wire. He just tore it apart. He just he, he was so big. And then he went in and killed nine of them. And we your dog killed nine. Yeah, of them? he killed nine of them. Oh, I had a I had twenty two of them at one point in time, and he killed nine of them in one like in just as much time as it took for him to get out there. He fucked up a couple other ones too, but they lived. He was just grabbing him and shaking him and grabbing him and shaking. He was having a party. Unfortunately, he was taught to do that by the fucking coyotes. Well, I mean this this is an example of what one would call animal culture. You know, mm. I mean, I, I make an argument for it in. Uh, in Wild New World, that this is something that happens fairly commonly. Animals, just like us, have culture, and they teach one another things. That sounds like a, a, a pretty good, for instance, of it. Well, they're so clever. They're so clever. 